you've missed out as the market has surged to new highs, don't buy anything until you watch this week's video. Let's go. So let's dig into stock picks. I love stock picks. Okay, let's go ahead and start our stock picking session. And we're going to start off with a Neil's very first pick, which is Fortinet. So is it a buy right now? Uh, the answer is yes. Uh, cool. It's still, if you look at on market Smith, it's still in base, still about 13% to pivot. And okay. I have weekly signals in there, and there's a strong fundamentals, SMR of A, accumulation distribution, A minus, up-down volume ratio 1.4, and earnings is out of the way. Strong stock, in my opinion. We'll see. No, are you going to buy it right here where it's at, Anil? Or are you going to let it get down a little bit? No, I, actually, I, I bought it. I backed off during the earnings, then bought it again after the earning. After okay, it. I got gotcha. you. So that, yeah, I like that. And uh, let me take a look at that. If you look at the weekly chart, it's still in base. And Yeah. One of the things I've been doing also here recently is just taking a look at the monthly charts. Sometimes what I find, like I'm not trading per se the monthly chart, but the monthly charts can oftentimes give you an indication of how long it's been in base. And so this is looking really good because it's just rolled up, back up. It's going to be challenging these past highs. And I like it. It looks really good. So my stock that I'll be talking about today just went on a rampage this past week. And here's what it did. Now, a lot of people are going to look at this and go, Dennis, that's ARM. It gapped up and went crazy. And you're absolutely right. It did. At the same time, though, does that mean... I forget about it. Does it mean I don't trade it? Or do I look at it and say, you know what? Because this volume down here, folks, is absolutely huge. This is the kind of volume. And while I don't spend a lot of time watching volume, this is the kind of volume that will blow the doors off and continue to feed the uptrend. But I just have to decide where do I want to potentially get into this trade? And so one of the things I've done is I, I put on a weekly chart. I went from the low here to the high here that provides us a Fibonacci, a long-term Fibonacci that has stronger levels of support. Now I'm looking for where white might it pull back to. My favorite targets is the 618, the 50, and the 38.2. Notice how those levels kind of coincide to this gap up. What do we know about gaps? We know the midsection of the gap is the strongest level of support. So that puts us where right there at the 50% retracement might give us an opportunity to jump on board. But we don't know when it's going to get there. So how do I make sure I do not miss this opportunity? I put an alert and I'll show you exactly where I'm going to put my alerts. I'm going to put an alert right here, just above 100. That's it towards the low of today's candle stick. I'm going to put alert right here above the 618 slightly and right here above the 50% retracement slightly. Let me give you numbers on that. One, 8870-ish. $97. And then if I get back down to, let's say $107 will be my other alert. And that's what'll trigger me to then go take a look and say, okay, do I have a setup that allows me to buy? And I may go over to the intraday chart to, to figure out what my setup would be. Because this has a projection to the upside, folks, based on this last move. If it just gets up to its 1272 extension, that's 150, 100 bucks. And then above the, the 1618, 176. Those are the upside targets, Fibonacci-wise, for that particular ent entity. So what do you think about ARM? Yeah, it looks pretty strong. Nice. So do you think, what about the, the approach I'm trying to take to make sure, I don't want to get left out on this because I think it's going to go, I think it's going to go a lot higher. No, I like your approach. I usually do not do this, but I commend you on this one. Okay. This 
And like I said, I'm not buying yet. I want to make it absolutely clear. Guys, I'm not going to put an order in. I'm just going to put my alerts in if they trigger. And then during the final hour of the day, I'll go check it out. Next stock is, now this one came up on one of my list also, Anil. So folks, look at this over here. This is early in its move up. So what's the story and where are you going to buy it? Yeah, I'm going to wait for a pullback on this a little bit. It's extended currently, the uh, weekly chart. But what really caught my attention is on the monthly chart, I, I got a weekly signal. And when the ch signals come on the monthly chart on a strong stock, they usually stay for a long time. Okay. And, gotcha. Uh, that, that's the reason. So I won't wait too long. A little bit of a pullback and I'll get in based on the monthly chart, even though on the weekly it looks extended. Okay. No, that sounds absolutely phenomenal. It's a newer stock too. And I was throwing a Fibonacci on there, uh, Neil, just to see where it might go. And But it looks, it, like I said, it looks really excellent. I'm going to put one more Fibonacci on this just to get an idea. Is and when I get something that's in a really strong move like this, all the Fibonacci's tell me is where it may slow down and pull back. And so that we can then potentially trade it. And so that's just one of the things I'm looking for. And I agree with you, Anil, it, it's worth waiting for a little bit of a. So let's see, what else do we have? Oh, yes, one more. Let's take a look at TNA. TNA has broken out. It now is back above all of its moving averages, which is a very strong move. It's broken out of the triangle. And from where it's at to the past highs, turns out to be, I'm up 10% there. To get up to these highs up there, I'm up 23%. If this turns out to be a longer term reversal, we could be looking at TNA over the next few months, running all the way back up to the past highs. Now, is it going to get there overnight? No, it's not. But uh, it may go into this ebb and flow type of thing. And let's say if we just dug up over the next few months. Okay, that's a 200% move up right there. And the ebb and flow thing would be this, where we run up, come back, run up come back and run up, come back. That could be a three wave type of, of move up. And I'll throw on one more thing as something to think about is let's get a projection with the Fibonacci's from this low to this high, back to this low. Where might it go on this run? right there to $51.30. And from where we are currently, that would give us a upside of about yeah, 39%. The way we do the, the ETFs is we take our profits on the way up and I'm not gonna hold it per se. I would never hold it longer than 90 days. That's the way we, we keep the carrying costs and all that kind of stuff at a minimum. Neil, what do you think about TNA? Now, TNA, I said it has a buy signal again today, but it's been giving me on the daily chart, buy, sell, buy, sell. This is the fourth time it has tried, and I think it's going to stick based on what I'm seeing also on the weekly chart. Cool. I, I love that. So did you know that most of the big gains are simply following a system with an edge, like the autopilot trading system? But you know what? What I found oftentimes is some of the bigger <laughs> wins that we have are basically just, we followed the rules, followed the system, followed the routine, and we just got in the way because you can never tell which one of the stocks is really gonna take off. So it's a matter of just get in the way and then hanging on for the ride. And that's exactly what we've done. As you can see by where that chart is going, I'm really pleased we're halfway through February and uh, we're already up about 12% for the year. Now. Uh, a question that I'm asked often is this 11% or 12% off of just in particular trades or is that for the whole portfolio? That covers the whole portfolio. 
that's how I measure how well we're doing from a P&L standpoint. Simplicity is the key to brilliance and trading. This was the slide that I prepared specifically for today with what we were going to be talking about from Mark Douglas. And in your quest for trading, consider these pivotal questions. Have you ever felt like you're just one insight away from unlocking consistent profits? What if you could take a trial on a system designed to streamline your path? The people who have been with us for quite some time, they know how streamlined the autopilot trading service is. Check out this particular opportunity. I will put a link in the description, also in the pinned comments. Imagine the transformation you're gonna have. So seize this chance, start your three month test flight and navigate towards mastery with us. Your journey begins now and there's the link. It's time to begin your journey. If today's odyssey has sparked your flame within you, let us help you grow. There'll be a link here to take a look at a Tesla video that I just did that shows you some of the downside projections of where I think Tesla might go. I think you'll find it very interesting at how cheap in the future you may be able to buy Tesla. Remember, the market secrets are reserved for those who seek simplicity. I want to remind everybody that all the materials we do present are for training purposes. Traders should always pay for trade any new method prior to the risk of their own personal capital. Past performance is not an indication or a promise of future performance.